Congresswoman Jackie Speer is saying her final farewell as she wraps up her long career of public service, including 15 years in Congress. She held the first of her four farewell uh, town hall meetings tonight in Burlingame. Our Crown Force Gail Ong was there and shares the Congresswoman's last messages to constituents and what might be next for her. Congresswoman Jackie Speer greeting constituents at the community center in Burlingame Thursday evening. Good evening, everyone. I am thrilled that you are here. This and kicking off farewell town hall meetings after spending four decades in public service. There comes a time, I think, in every career when you have to assess um, the, the interests of your family and your interests in wanting to continue to pursue your dreams. And... You know, they came in conflict recently, and um, I recognized that it was time to come home. Representative Spear is a San Francisco native and a graduate of Mercy High School in Burlingame. She decided to dedicate her life to public service after surviving the 1978 Jonestown massacre. At the time, she was an A2 representative, Leo Ryan. They were on a fact-finding mission in Guyana when she was shot five times. On Thursday, Spear reflected on her work in Congress and thanked her constituents for their support over the years. Responding to uh, half a million inquiries and letters. Uh, 10,000 cases. Uh, we have returned to veterans over $5 million in payments that were stuck in a VA system that was out of date. California Assembly Member Kevin Mullen and San Mateo County Supervisor David Canepa are on the November ballot, vying to succeed Speer in Congress. Speer endorsed Mullen last year, but did not address him directly at Thursday's meeting. This is a public event um, in my legislative office, so I'm not um, allowed to talk about campaign issues. As for what's next? I'm probably going to join one of the Speaker's bureaus. Um, I may do a political analyst work for you know, TV stations. Um, I may write another book, um, but I'm going to stay very busy. And Representative Spear will be hosting three more of these farewell town halls. The next one is scheduled Saturday at 2 p.m. at the Boys and Girls Club in Half Moon Bay. Reporting from Burlingame, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News.